we'd hired local captain Jacob Baden Forbes to take us on his boat to a tiny speck of pink sand in the middle of the Caribbean called Pigeon Cay, off the east end of Roatan. Approaching Pigeon Cay is jarring. You see that bunch of trees? That's not it. See it over to the left? Yeah, we couldn't either. It's so remote, it took us more than two hours to get here. I had a little different image in my mind when I thought about Pigeon Key, especially when you look on the map and it's a nice significant little spot. This is a tiny little spit of land out here and I have snorkeled around little uh, atolls like this before and it's usually pretty good, so looking forward to it. It felt great to plant our feet on land, no matter how tenuous that land may be. Jacob is from very near here and grew up spending his days lobster fishing out here with his dad. According to him, this was once a pretty verdant island with plenty of trees and room to pitch a tent and camp. We used to get back and forth to Pigeon Key by wooden kayaks. We used to go there and camp for a week, spare fishing, selling in Rotan. Yeah, that's our living. If we don't die, we don't eat. <laughs> Those days are gone now and what's left doesn't even have a single living tree to find shade. Time and tide have done their work on Pigeon Cay, and if you don't see it soon, it'll be gone beneath the waves before you know it. But for now, it was time to get in the water. The water here is crystal clear, and we even saw a couple of large sharks. But I was too slow on the camera, so they're just for the memory. My name's Audrey Horn. Can I sit here? It's nice to have a place like this all to yourself. And it's so remote, chances are good that you'll have that if you make the trip. We enjoyed the colorful coral and fish for nearly an hour before heading back to the boat and lunch on a nearby island. We won't soon forget Pigeon Cay, which like this trip for our family, will soon be just a beautiful memory.